Welcome, family, to part three of the intro. Simi, Simi, family. Kimbo, Kimbo, Natatazami, Ya, Mazulu, unto the Most High. So, family, as you see the map, uh, they have holding um, in their hands and also the flag. So, just want to just point out that for this to occur, it's sending a message to the whole world, but I believe more so to the people who call themselves Jewish, the Israelis, that where they are um, saying the promised land is, is not. It, it is, it, 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 I'm sorry, it is in um, the navel, um, it's in the heart of um, which we call Africa, where Congo um, is being the navel. And if you have visited past the mellow um, YouTube page, um, you would see that he did a video on that. So also I want to share with you all another map that I came across. Okay, so fam, so this map here is actually, I was, I sent for um, more information. One of um, my Hebrew sisters um, posted this on Facebook, but I didn't, uh, I don't believe she sent anything as of yet. I just wanted to get a link to it or a date. But as I open this up here, um, I'm sorry, you could see. Um, the Sahara Desert there, okay? And then you could also, um, as I open it up here, you can see that it does say in 620 AD, that's just telling an account of our people, which was founded among the Negro, um, among the Negro. So they're saying that they found white Libyans um, dynasty. That's what is being said on here. But I want to point your attention to all where they said the Jews are at. Um, down here, down to the bottom here, where you see it says, May Yabumbo, I want to say, May Yabumbo, a Yabumbo, Jews there, which we know Hebrews, Bantu, San uh, Thomas, a Tommy, Jews there, um, Levites, you see that, cities up here. Under by where it says Nigeria, then also over here a little bit as under Noops, you see Levites cities there. Um, you see Ephraim right there. Um, then you see also Dehomi Jews there, um, which you know, of course, Hebrews, um, another right under Ashante right here. Then um, this one here says, Olam, Lama, Alam, once a, uh, what Hebrew colony, not too far from, um, you know, Timbuktu. And um, as we go over some more, um, Judeo uh, right here, you see that near Senegal, and um, over here um, in this corner here, you see a Jewish kingdom, Ghana. And also, I'm not sure what that is. But um, as you can see, this is really like, um, you know, it pinpoints where different places where we add in on many maps that I've came across. It actually show you know, little different markings um, to pinpoint where we add and also notes or some type of message that people will know directly, you know, um, where we at. So we have to uh, understand that the Most High prophesies that this would happen. He put a spirit on these people that they will come and scatter um, us, as he said. So also the colony, um, Nizers came and colonized Africa, enslaved them there on the land. And then they, you know, transport ones, which were scattered 
which we believe that was tribe Judah. And, um, you know, some say it could have been some Levi's, um, also along with them. But of course the Bible says Judah would be scattered to the four corners of the earth, according to, according to Isaiah 11. Okay. So I just wanted to give you an account of this map also for those who, um, coming into this truth and you, you know, don't understand, um, our presence in, uh, Africa. Uh, the storyline was said that we left the middle East where they say Africa is I'm sad today and migrated into, um, Africa, um, after 70 AD. And, um, according to this, um, and according to a lot of things I'm coming across, I am seeing it differently. Um, in so many ways. So I'm going to continue to seek the most high for revelation, um, to be in this right lineup to provide you all with insights because he, um, uh, have, um, stated unto me to prepare my people to return unto me. Hallelujah. By bringing to them what truth. So those who have, you know, questions, um, you always want to seek the most high um, and allow him to, to direct you um, in, you know, whatever you may have a lacking in. It could be your husband and wife. Your wife might have a different set of questions that will make her come into a complete more understanding and you might too. And that's normal because we are different. But each person, whatever question you have, this is the time that you seek the most high for all things. And, you know, I'm not saying in any way that he can't use you to give me insights. You understand? So we all, you know, in this together, but, um, you know, as I said, um, in previous videos, I know that the most high have put certain ones aside for certain things. So if you don't know your purpose, seek him for that to understand what is your purpose, what you should be doing in this awakening, because a lot of our people still sleep. And could it be that father has, you know, woke us up to even bring them further into this light. So family, that's all I have now, but praise it to the most high. Yah. have a great rest of your day. If I don't come back on, um, Today, I'll see you in the next video, family, as the most high lead and guide me. Hallelujah.